It is time to face the grim reality that is the actual potential for relegation. It's here. It is genuinely here. It is time to come to grips. It's time to accept. It, it's time to begin grieving, maybe, even the legitimate end of Chelsea Football Club's um, time as a top club. It, it's genuinely time to start talking about it because it, it just can't... It, it, we are genuinely losing left, right and centre to any single team that fancies it. That's all it is. That's all it comes down to is, is you ask a team when they come to Stamford Bridge or, or, or just up against Chelsea in general, do you fancy a win? Do you fancy three points? Because Charity FC are here and we're here to give you your three points or, or, or whatever the hell you want. Whatever it is you want. One, two, three, four, five losses. Five losses in a row. In a row. Five losses in a row in all competitions for Chelsea Football Club. Am I the only one now starting to smell a bit of a rat? Starting to smell a bit of a stink that, that maybe... I don't know if I've got my tinfoil hat on. I don't know if I, I'm, I've, I've lost it officially. And I said this um, at the end of the stream on the watch along on Chelsea Fan TV. I, 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 I was saying, you know, there's, there's lack of chemistry. There's, there's, there's lack of cohesion. There's lack of fight. There's lack of will. There's lack of determination. There's lack of management. There's lack of... Every single type of thing you can think of that could be wrong. And even then, and even then, you would think, even with the £600 million spent, even with that, put that to one side, you look at the players that we have at our disposal on a weekly basis, and I, and I know, I know, I know that Frank Lampard's, um, shall we say, choices... They, too, have a bit of a whiff. They have a bit of a stink to them. Sterling and Gallagher up front today. Kante is one of the, you know, attacking players as well. What's, what's, what's up with that? What's up with that? It's sabotage is what it is. It is sabotage. But even then, even then, you look at the players that Chelsea have, and I said this, you can be the biggest, you know, laugh at Chelsea all you want. It is funny. It is funny. I can imagine it is hilarious because I know if it was Arsenal, if it was Liverpool, if it was Man United, Man City, especially if it was Tottenham, I'd be absolutely pissing myself laughing. But, but rivalry aside, when you put on like a footballing mind... And again, I know chemistry is a factor and all this sort of stuff is a factor, you know, the part of the game and all that sort of stuff. But even with the players we have, my point is we should be scoring at least one goal in our last seven games. Oh, but we did. We scored against Brighton, which was an absolute stinker. We scored two against Everton, but still didn't get a win. We're now winless in eight games. Winless in eight. We've still got Arsenal to play in our next game. We've got, uh, what was it, Bournemouth as well. We might actually go 10 games without a win for the first time in, I don't even know. I don't think anyone on this planet was alive the last time that probably happened. I, I don't know. Slight exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Capitulation is a word thrown around. It's far gone. It is, it is, it's beyond that. Lack of caring. I, I don't even think it's that. I mean, obviously it is a massive factor is that the players don't give a fuck at all. Um, but I know what, I, do you know what I, I think that they would care about is docking of salaries, 50% cut, 
eight games without a win is unacceptable. Four games without a win is unacceptable. Five losses in a row is not unacceptable. It was, it's unfathomable. It's unfucking fathomable that Chelsea Football Club, a team that won the Champions League two fucking years ago, would go and lose five games in a row in, 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 in all competitions. Maybe if we lose to Arsenal, it will be what? One, two, three, four. It would be five in a row in the Premier League too. We're going to win against Arsenal, are we? Fuck! They're winning. They're, they're losing 3-1 to Man City. I'll get, yeah, it's all well and good. But it's just a free little booster. It's just a free little booster for them to come on Tuesday or, or ask to go to the Emirates on Tuesday and, and win there. My point is, they ne the players need to be held accountable. They really do. They really do need to be held accountable for this point now. Lampard, Potter, Bruno, Tuchel, uh, it, nothing seems to change. I know Lampard's making some dicey choices with his starting lineup, but this is also linked in with what I'm saying about things are starting to stink, you know? You're telling me, you're telling me that Lampard, a player, and, and say what you want about his managerial um you know, ability. But you're telling me that Lampard, um, a, a manager that was so invested in promoting youth players in his first tenure at the club, you've got Tammy, you've got Tamori, you've got Reese James, you've got Mason Mount, you've got... The list goes on. Chalaba, Loftus-Cheek, etc., etc. But in a game like this, where there is nothing to lose, I mean, apart from the game itself and even maybe, you know, relegation, but in terms of the season, it's done and all that sort of jazz. He doesn't play Madueke from the start instead of Kante on the wing or, you know, as a, as a supporting attacking player for Sterling up front. You know, or but he plays Gallagher. You know, he doesn't play Trukameka. He doesn't play Badi Ashil, what's happened to him? He doesn't start a Bamiyang, even though he starts him in the second half. What is going on, really? What's really going on? Because like I said, and I'll end it with this, there is a fucking stink. There is a rat, a rat in this club. Many of them. There are at least 11 in every single game. Something's going on. Uh, and at this point, yes, conspiracy. I've got me Tim Fowle hat on. I, I, I have surpassed the, uh, the the point of delusion. Well, I'm in delusion now, probably. But I'm sorry. Again. Again. Even if you're our fiercest rival, even if you hate Chelsea, rightfully so, you should be laughing because it's a joke. It's beyond the joke. But even then, people have to see that this is quite literally impossible without some sort of dodgy business going on. And I don't quite know what that would be, what benefit we would have, what benefit Bowley or the players or whoever would get from this. That's the only issue. <laughs> but it's a shambles. It's beyond the shambles. I mean, at first it was a, it was like, ah, this is this is a bit bad. But now it's gotten to the point where it's like, what the fuck is actually going on here? Do you know what I mean? Now it's starting to, I'm starting to smell a little bit of a rat. Like something's going on here. Something's going on and it's getting, it's dodgy. Something's dodgy going on. I'm telling you. With that said, we move. We've got Arsenal next. I mean, Christ almighty, you're going to get battered. But all the same, not the Chels. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Become a member of the channel if you want to. Um, follow on TikTok, all that good stuff. It's been a long one today. It really has. Um, Chelsea nil. Bournemouth. Uh, Bournemouth. Brentford two. It's going to be two nil to Bournemouth anyway. Anyway, see you later. All the best.